Emmy winning actor Ed Asner has died at the age of 91. He made his mark on American audiences in the Mary Tyler Moore show and continued to have a thriving career well into his golden years. Asner was also an outspoken activist for both political and personal causes. CBS's Omar Villafranca takes a look at his life and career. Well. Ed Asner got his big break playing the gruff but lovable television news boss Lou Grant on the Mary Tyler Moore Show. You know what? You got spunk. Well, yes. I hate spunk. Time Magazine put the sitcom on its list of 17 shows that changed TV. Baxter, will you knock it off? Asner relished sparring with Ted Knight, who played the newscaster, and Gavin McLeod as the head news writer. Give me that list of words that Baxter mispronounced on last night's show. Chicago. Their on-scene chemistry was the start of an enduring friendship. They taught me to laugh. They taught me to release myself to... Uh, to enjoy life. When the Mary Tyler Moore show ended, Asner reprised his role in the TV drama Lou Grant. The show won critical acclaim. Asner is the only actor to win the Emmy Award for both a sitcom and a drama in the same role. Asner was born in Kansas City in 1929. He was raised in an Orthodox Jewish household but became an agnostic. After a brief stint in the Army Signal Corps, Asner moved to New York to pursue his acting career. He appeared in four Broadway productions, most recently in 2012's Grace. Mind your own business and everything works out. He was president of the Screen Actors Guild from 1981 to 1985, but was accused of politicizing the union. They applauded me, but uh, thought I was a fool for my politics. Asner continued to perform well into his 80s. He voiced several animated movies, including the Pixar hit Up. He also toured the U.S. for several years, playing President Roosevelt in the play FDR. He called himself overweight, bald, and crippled from too many hip operations. But Asner said he always recognized his own talent. Goodbye, cruel world. Omar Villafranca, CBS News. Asner was married twice and had four children.